Hello and welcome back to another episode. Today we got big plans. I think we're gonna try beat the game today with killing the Ender Dragon. Yeah, so let's get into it. I'm gonna quickly make some diamond armor just to prepare and chuck it on. There we go. We'll kit it up now. We'll probably enchant it later on once we get a few more levels, but I do not want to go back to mining quartz because of what happened last time. So we'll probably just get XP after we kill the Ender Dragon and we'll just use whatever we get from that to farm up. But now that we've got diamond armor, I reckon we can try maybe get a good bow. Yeah, we'll, I'll get to mining. <laughs> some, some quartz, not too much though. I think while we're in the nether, we'll pay a visit to the nether fortress just so we can get some blaze rods since we'll need it for the eye vendors. Hopefully I remember which way the blaze spawner was. It might be down this way. There are some blazes here that I will take them. Another one, let's go. It was not down here. We're gonna go back. Oh, there it is, found it. Let's murder these guys real quick. Okay, that, I think that's enough blaze rods for now. The last piece of the puzzle for Eye of Enders is actually enderpearls, so I think we can still stick in the nether here for them. So if you didn't know, the best way to actually get enderpearls early on is either bartering or actually just killing endermen that spawn in the nether warp biome right here. So yeah, there's, there's one right there. Perfect. Yeah, so let's just kill a couple endermen and just get enough enderpearls for the portal. Alrighty, after that quick farming session, we were able to get this much quartz and 16 blaze rods and 16 ender pearls, which should be enough for us to go to the end today. Also, while we were farming, we also got level 32. So what we can do is you can do a couple of enchantments. Let's just look at the other enchants. The sword is very appealing, but I think we do need a bow. So we'll go for the bow. Power 4, that's perfect. I wish I had infinity on it, but that's all right. What I'll do is make another bow as well, and we'll see what the next enchant is. Next one will be power 3, that's not very nice. Unbreaking 3. Fortune 3 on the pickaxe, we are definitely going for that next. So what I can do now, actually, is to get the XP out of the nether warts, because I did use silk touch, so I could kind of store the XP and just use it whenever I want. Uh, where did I put it? There it is. If you want to get from level 27 to level 30 with nether quartz, you need around a stack and a half, just for your information. If you want to get XP this way as well, like what I'm doing. But yeah, uh, let's just quickly mine this. Okay, that's level 30. And we finally got our Fortune 3. It doesn't have Unbreaking on it, but that's fine because we can combine it with another pick later on. Okay, we're going to do another enchantment. Let's see, Silk Touch Axe, that sounds very nice. Sharpness for Sword. I also kind of do want that. I think we'll go for the Sharpness and see what we get. Looting 3, knock back 2. Okay, this is a very nice sword. Let's see what we get for this boat. Just Power 4, okay. Okay, this is my final enchant. Let's see. So we got power three, efficiency four, and sharpness three. I think we'll go for the shovel. <laughs> okay, a single line, whatever. I I'll take anything at this point. And we'll also combine, let's take the fortune pick and also the unbreaking pick. And we'll combine these two. We also combine these two bows as well, just so we get power five. So yep, yeah, let's do that. Oh, that is not what I want to do. That would that could have been bad. Okay, so this is seven levels, eleven levels. Okay, so we'll do this. So we've got a power five bow now, and sixteen levels, six levels. Okay, and we got a fortune pick. I'm I'm very happy with these enchants today, to be honest. We also craft our eye of enders over here. So that's sixteen eye of enders. 
that should be fine. We need a maximum of 12 to activate the portal. And also we have around four to actually get there ourselves. So yeah, let's get going. Actually, before before I head out, uh, let, let, let's, let me get some food. Four pieces of cooked chicken. Hmm. Okay, well, maybe I'll do some breeding and kill some cows while I'm here. Okay, I've massacred a bunch of cows. There's a lot more space in there for them now, which is nice. So they shouldn't be complaining since they were the lucky ones to survive. Okay, let's get to cooking this and start heading out to the end. Alrighty, we're definitely ready to go now. I crafted up some more arrows for us just so we don't run out while we're fighting the Ender Dragon. So yeah, so let's get going with the first Isle of Ender. Looks like we're heading in yep, this direction. I'm just gonna run for a fair bit Okay, I think we're close to it, if it's changed directions. Okay, yeah, we found it. It's down here. Let's just, I guess, dig straight down. It was a fair bit away, around 2,000 blocks. Oh, okay, there's a waterlogged cave. But I do see the stronghold down there, so let's just swim down and hope it's not all waterlogged. If it is, then that's gonna be a pain. Okay, it doesn't look like it is. Perfect. Oh, okay, we found it. Wow, oh, that was quick. Wow, okay, only two eye vendors in there. What we'll do is we'll set up a bed down here it will sleep the night away and what i've done is also brought obsidian um i think i want to make a three by three obsidian so i'll actually take two more pieces over here all right we just set up a portal real quick just so we can head back a lot quicker because we are 2000 blocks away from our base let's see set up a portal and i uh, kind of want to see where this leads so we'll just go in real quick okay this is <laughs> <laughs> this is a very bad portal. Uh, yeah, okay, we'll, we'll head back in and maybe once we defeat the Ender Dragon, if we defeat the Ender Dragon, we can grab some more blocks. And I will also prepare a chest here just to put our stuff away. Uh, I am going to go still explore the, the stronghold just so I can find the library. Okay, there's a chest here with nothing. Oh, okay, there's a library. Perfect, okay. I'm gonna yoink as much as I can. See what we get. A smithing template, okay. I've actually never used smithing templates before, so that's gonna be nice. Powerful lure two. Okay, that's honestly, eh, it's all right. See, another smithing template, the same one as well. Okay, that's not too useful. Uh, I'm just gonna harvest a bunch of these, so we'll see how long that takes. And yeah, we'll be right back. Okay, I've, I've actually given up. We'll, we'll come back for this maybe in the future when we do need the bookshelves. Right now, it's not a priority. Okay, but I think it's time for us to head in to the end. Wish me luck. I'm actually a bit nervous because I've never bet the Ender Dragon alone in a single player world. I've always played with friends and there's like five of us shooting the Ender Dragon at once. But we'll see how it goes. I think I'll put my water bucket on my second hot bar, hot key, so I can quickly water clutch. Okay, let's do this. All right, we're not stuck in the ground. That's great. Let's build our way up. Just mine our way up, actually. Okay. Quickly shoot down then, crystals. There we go. That's one. That's two. There we go. That's three. That's four, five, six. Okay, we're doing it. It's actually pretty easy. I'm going, going a lot smoother than I thought. Oh. 
Come on. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last one. Oh. I thought I was going to get in one shot. Trick shot. Ten. Okay, now we got to shoot at the ender dragon. Going well in arrows. We got got to stack in a bit. Yeah, to be honest, I think they should make the ender dragon fight a bit harder. Because I feel like this is going way too smooth. Alright, let's fight it. I did end up bringing the looting sword. So we will do a bit more damage with the sharpness on this. I, I think we should try... Oh, okay, I got launched up in there. Alright, that's fine. We clutched it. I don't have feather falling, so it is a bit dangerous. I could die if I get flung up in the air too high. Oh, okay, it's coming down. Oh, it's killing all the endermen for me. That's great. Alright. Just smack it now. I think this is it. We might kill it this rate. And... We did it. We finished. We beat the game. The game's too easy. Oh, look at that XP. Level 60, 65. 65. Okay, that's actually great. Oh, I forgot to bring a piston to grab this egg. Um, we'll come back for it later, but my main my main goal right now is actually to get Elytra, just so we can fly around, make things a bit easier. I will head back though, because I don't want to die with this XP, so I'll, I'll enchant my armor and we'll build a way back home in the nether. Okay, let's grab all this stuff here. I'll quickly mine a few blocks just so we can build our way from that awful spawn in the nether that we have. I think that's enough blocks for now. Uh, where am I? Uh, it's this way. Okay. I'll quickly turn these into stone bricks because those look a bit nicer. I'll leave some of this junk here actually. Get rid of what I don't need. Okay, I think we need to build in that direction, so, oof, okay, um, what I'll do for now is just build a really temporary bridge, really diagonal, which is not ideal, but eventually in the future I will be moving all my nether portals up to the nether roof, so this really shouldn't matter what I do down here. It will look crap for now, but yeah, what can you do? Okay, let's get to enchanting all of our tools and armor that we have so far. We are we don't we don't have any more diamonds anymore, so we can't really add any more to it. But we do have protection on armor, sharpness on the sword, power four on the book, and I'm breaking on the bow, and also efficiency on the shovel. I think we'll go with the protection on the chest plate. Perfect. That's exactly what I want. I'm gonna go for the looting on the sword. Unbreaking on the bow, Silk Touch on the Diamond Shovel, Unbreaking on the Leggings, Power 5 on the Book, Unbreaking 3 on the Shovel, Looting 3 on the Book, Unbreaking 3 on the Bow, Power 4 on the Bow, Protection 4 on the Boots, and for the final one I'm just going to go Protection 3 on the Helmet. All right, hopefully we've got enough blocks. Let's just hop back in. So I usually just like to build a staircase up. We'll do this uh, roughly. Yeah, that looks alright, right? Perfect, like so. And a little trick that I usually like to do, if you don't want to waste ender pearls every single time you come to the end, you can make a trap door, like so. And then you can place it against here and then you can kind of just slide it like so we there we go let's get to looking for an end city i'm just gonna run around and hopefully find one. Oh, is that is that one right there 
Does it have a ship? Oh, there's another one over there as well. Okay, there's two of them. That's great. Wait, we're actually really close to spawn. Oh, the way the place we spawned at, so it's not too bad. I've only built one bridge so far. Well, this is the second one now though, but it's great for us because the last time I uh, I had to find Elytra by hand by just walking, it took me like three hours. So this is great. It's only been like ten minutes. All right. Um. From the looks of it, that one has a ship over there, but that one doesn't. So what I'll do is I'll actually leave this one alone for the future, just so I have shulkers close by, so I can actually make a shulker farm. Yeah, but let's start heading over to the one on the right. I think I brought a bit too many blocks now, because we've already found a first elytra. Is that another one over there? There's no way. But that one looks like it doesn't have a ship either though, so... Is that is that another one in the distance over there? Wait, this is this is actually kind of crazy. Oh, I guess we might be able to get our first elytra and a backup elytra really quickly here. Yep, that is a, that is indeed another ship in, over there as well. Okay, this is great. I don't have to spend too long in the end. We've made it back to base, which is very nice. It, that trip took a lot longer than expected because of how we been kind of chained together, but that's fine. Either way, these were our spoils of end looting. Uh, lots of diamond armor, and uh, we got five elytra. I'm wearing one right now, so we got five elytra. Basically a stack of diamonds, which is kind of insane. And also a few mending, uh, stuff with mending, which I will eventually use. This one's nice. And this one as well. So now that we've got uh, Elytra, I can finally start building bigger builds, which is very nice. The only issue that I have right now is um, I don't actually have any gunpowder, so I can't craft any rockets. But I think the fact that I can be in higher places and not die now is kind of a big thing. After collecting a bunch of gunpowder, I got enough rockets so that we can at least fly around while we build our next project. I also filled up my ender chest with shulker boxes, so that's how that is. Yeah, so we've moved a decent amount of things into my ender chest. But yeah, now that we're all good to go with Elytra, although we don't have uh, we don't have unbreaking or mending on it yet, that's but for now we will yeah, get into building. So the next project I want to do is actually to make an iron farm because manually mining iron has been very tedious over the past few episodes. So I want to kind of get that automated and I think we'll build somewhere around over there. I have a plan in mind, but it will take a bit of time. So yeah, let's just get to farming resources and into the build.
We've ironed out the building for the farm. And while doing that, I grinded quite a bit and got all of these ores here, which will definitely come in handy in the future. But moving on, I'll quickly show you around the new building. It's based off a cathedral, which is made of polished diorite because it's white like iron. But as you can see up here, if we go inside, there's the iron farm. There's an iron farm with villages and a named tagged zombie. The name of the zombie is Nori. If you want to make this iron farm, you can check out the link in the description, but it's based on Doc M77's design where the zombie scares the villagers, causing an iron golem to spawn and drop down over here. So I made them drop down at least 16 blocks so they can be out of the range of the village that's up there, which lets another one spawn. They fall into the sacrificial pit, which fits with the theme of the cathedral because it's run by a cult. The iron gets collected here, which is, which as you can see, we have a decent amount of iron. But overall, I think the total time to build this was somewhere in the range of 18 hours. But I think having passively made iron is going to save a lot of time in the future. Anyway, I think I'll wrap this episode up here. So I'll catch you guys next time. If you like this video, feel free to check out this one as well.